Hello, my name is Will Pittenger. I'm going to be talking in this video about my religious beliefs. Just kind of still getting you to know me. But I'm a, a member of the Iron Methodist Church. Have been for uh, pretty much ever when I was born. And all these years have really influenced my beliefs. And that's kind of what I'm going to be talking about. So, for instance, I believe that we need to take care of the environment. And I also believe that we need to take care of the poor, as commanded by Jesus. But I also think that sometimes the Democrats and other liberals in society kind of do things a bit strange. For instance, uh, back in the 90s, the Republicans introduced a variety of, I guess, what they saw as common sense stuff, where they put restrictions on public aid in order to get people to actually work rather than just living on public aid forever. However, they kind of had the heavy-handed approach there, too. A lot of what they did, well, I'll quote an, an example I remember. Uh, this single mother was told she had to go to work or lose her public aid. Well, she wanted to go to college and so she could get a better job. But no, she had to go to work immediately. She Going to college was not work. And so that's kind of how the Republican changes in the 90s fell down. They weren't all that great. But on the other hand, and I'm probably going to be spending most of the rest of this video on discussing that. It's regarding homosexuality. To me, homosexuality is a sin. And I do remember an Andrew Peterson song where he talks about a sign that said, God hates fags. Well, regardless of what Andrew Peterson was talking about, the sign is wrong. He loves everyone, regardless of what they do. It's their sin he hates. And I classify homosexuality as a sin. It would never go down that route myself. But do I hate them? No. I'd urge them not to go down that road. But that will not invalidate my love for them. And there's a lot of stuff in there. As you'll see in the notes for this video, Leviticus... In 18, or let's see, Leviticus 18.22, I'm quoting uh, English Standard Version here. You shall not lie with a male as with a woman. It is an abomination. I've got links to that, to several, seven of them, different translations, along with notes all from um, a website called netbible.org. I encourage you to read all those and study them along with the notes. Another verse, again, I'm going to quote the ESV. This is Leviticus 20.13. If a man lies with a woman, both have committed an abomination. 
They shall surely be put to death. Their blood is upon them. Now, again, it's saying you can't sleep with another guy. And I'm going to point out that the ancient Hebrews probably would have interpreted they shall surely be put to death part as meaning the priests or whoever were responsible for executing whoever it was committing the sin. In modern Christian society, though, I don't think it's us that are responsible for that. It's God's decision. He's the one who says whether or not they committed the sin, not us. And it isn't up to us to judge. That is clear throughout the Bible. Jesus said, do not judge or you will be judged. Now, I think what this verse is saying, at least for us, is that God is saying they will die spiritually and will not enter heaven. Now, the New Testament, I'm going to go back to the Old Testament here. The Both of those quotes specifically talk about males with males. They do not mention all the various other LB or whatever You get into the New Testament, and for some reason, Paul kind of dances around this with, but I think it's mostly due to the terms that he had available. Nothing that we can concretely describe as true homosexuality in general. I'm listing one verse in the notes that kind of implies females with females being prohibited. But for the most part, I don't, the translations could be, or the actual original words are a bit ambiguous. And so I'm going to come back here to Leviticus again and note that some of the other ways in which a woman could sin sexually are not described in any of the books of the law. They're totally omitted. So they talk, those books talk about... Uh, a man having sex with his mother's with the wife of his father, with his aunt, and so on. But what the women are doing, for instance, having sex with a stepson, is totally omitted. And so I think the same thing has to be applied with females with females regarding the Old Testament scripture. It is pretty much ambiguous. If you're going to apply or say that women can have sex with all these different things and not sin, even though their partner sins, then they're free because females can still have, there's no prohibition regarding females with females. But I think that God isn't necessarily listing all the possible ways we can sin. So, again, I said, hey, read the notes, read the scriptures for those notes, and. And in each of the verses I quote, I also list the notes that the website lists. There's four 
notes for Leviticus 18, or excuse me, two notes for Leviticus 18, 22, two for Leviticus 20, 13, and then four for Romans, uh, Here it is, Romans 1, or chapter 1, verses 26 through 27. Read all of them and comment down below what you think. As always, if you like this video, please click the like button. And don't forget to subscribe and or click the notification bell. Thank you. Bye.